you were camming. How did you move from that into like shooting partner scenes and ultimately studio scenes? At this point, I had been researching for like over a year and a half about like porn and agents and all of that. So I knew who Spiegler was. When I went in AVN, to AVN in 2020, like I knew who Spiegler was. You're very like thorough, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very thorough. And so I was like, I remember walking to, um, I was on the floor um, at AVN and he was like sitting on a couch at someone's booth. Mm-hmm. And I remember being like, Paige, Paige, look, that's Spiegler over there. That's Mark Spiegler. And she was like, I don't know who that is. Like, I'm happy for you. I don't yeah. know who that is. Um, and so I knew who everybody was. And then I, it's funny enough, I met my current agent at AVN in 2020. He doesn't mm-hmm. remember this, but I did. I went up and I introduced myself. Who's your current agent? I'm with ATML. I'm with Mark. Oh, you're with Mark. He's lovely. He's so lovely. Yeah, he's one of the best. Yeah. And shout out to Mark Schlechter. Schechter. 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 Yeah, he's the sweetest, super awesome, and just cool. Yeah, chill. he's great. And so, yeah, at that point, I had known who a couple of these agents were. I had done some research and I was like, okay, like maybe this is something I want to do. I mean, I've already been camming. My goal was to be behind the camera. But at this point, like, I'm just trying to pay my bills. So Mm -hmm. whatever. What did you want to do behind the camera? I wanted to direct. Okay. Like that whole 90s era thing I went through, I was like, oh my God, Mm -hmm. Andrew Blake, like that whole entire period was just like crazy to me. Yeah. And I wish someone would have grabbed me by the shoulders at 19 and been like, girl, that is not the porn we're making today. I know. It is not a reality. Nobody's made. And th- you could not sell Andrew Blake movies today. No. Like, and no people, one, no one people, would watch them. They'd be like, people, where's the, where's the yeah, POV shot? They're beautiful, but you, yeah. No, there's no money them. in it at all. And it's devastating to me. Yeah. And so, yeah, I had so many directors that I looked up to. And so I wanted to get into that. And then it just, I was like, whatever, you know what? This will be my break in. I'll break in. I'll show my holes. <laughs> then maybe they'll let me hold a camera, Yeah, you know? And so, yeah, I, uh, I, funny enough, my first agent reached out to me on Instagram and I was like, well, I see lots of girls that I know with this agent and I don't really want to do the work and like try to reach out to other people. I now looking back, I wish I had, but I was like, it's fine. This will do. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, they sent over the um, model. What it would even, would you call it a contract? It's not mm-hmm. even, doesn't even count as a contract to be honest with you, but I read over it and I signed it. And within a week I was on a flight to Vegas to shoot my first scene. What was your first scene? Well, it was a casting couch situation. Oh, what a surprise. And I was so nervous. So I actually made my mom buy a ticket to Vegas with me because I was like, girl. So your mom knew you were getting into porn. Oh, yeah. And she was okay with it? Yeah. She was like, I saw that coming from a mile away because I would like sit there and like collect DVDs of like my favorite Andrew Blake films. And she's like, what's this one about? Like, what's in that one? You know? So she was like, I knew that that was going to happen. Yeah. Um, so it's crazy she, that she came from such a strict religious background and ended up being so accepting of what the, you're doing. The rebellious side yeah. of her was like, gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, she got on a plane with me to Vegas. She stayed at the same hotel as me. And then um, funny enough, that shoot ended up getting pushed because first time I got tested, they lost my urine sample. And I was like, <laughs> is this... <laughs> is what to be expected from getting into porn? Like, is this going to be regular? Um, but yeah, so I shot that scene a couple of days later and she stayed with me till um, till that was over. And then I left right from there to, to L.A. and she went home and I was like, bye, girl. I'm going to go and it began. my life. Yeah. So tell me about your actual first scene. Like, do you remember who it was with? Yeah, it was for Net Video Girls. Okay. Um, with they like to do new girls. Yeah, new yeah. girls. Yeah. Once again, I see so many girls playing it smart. They're like, "No, I'm gonna wait till Browsers gives me my first scene." I was like, "Dude, put me in front of a camera!" Like, <laughs> I didn't care. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I shot with Tyler. I think that's his name. Tyler Nixon. No. Oh. Ty- his name's just Tyler. Oh. It's literally just Tyler. Okay. Um, he's. It's like the POV dude or whatever. Mr. Lucky. Oh, okay. Some POV. Mr. Lucky POV. I think, I think. Yeah, okay. I could be wrong. Um, But the point is, is that he shot mainly POV for them. Gotcha. So the first scene was with him. It was my second time ever having sex with a man. 
my first time was great, but it was literally like, okay, February. So yeah, it was eight months. I wow. lost my virginity eight months prior and I had sex with one guy and I was like, okay, let's fucking go. And how did it go? Um, did you tell him that this is your only hell second no. time having sex with a no. guy? No, I didn't even tell the boy that I lost my virginity to that I gave oh. him my virginity. Yeah, because I was like, Mm-mm, no, he can't know about that. And it was great. I loved the first time I had sex with a man. Didn't hurt? No. It really? was like um, it was like mind blowing. It changed like the trajectory of that everything. Was terrible, really. Oh yeah, I hear that a lot though. It was really painful. Really, I bled, and the guy sucked. Yeah, I remember he kept his shirt on because he had like pimples all over his oh, back. Oh lord, he was also a terrible like boyfriend. That's so sad. Was not nice to me. No, yeah. this boy was he did not. not deserve my virginity. No, he didn't. No, he didn't at all. Um, but this boy was not my boyfriend. Uh, and I lost my virginity at my stepdad's house, which is, I mean, come on. Like, there's nothing more pornographic than that. Mm. But I was, Unless it was with your stepdad. And then, <laughs> yeah, then, <laughs> then... Then it would be actually... Sorry for another time. Yeah. Uh, but no, I was dog sitting for him, and I just uh, was like, oh, yeah, you can, like, come over and hang out. By the way, I'm not having sex with you. I told him that. I was like, we're not fucking. Like, that's mm. not going to happen. Yeah, Did we- you initiate it? I think it was kind of mutual. Okay. Like, I think throughout the night we were like, okay, fine. And I had sex with him. And because I had waited so long and I was so comfortable with my own body mm-hmm. and like, whatever, when we had sex, it was like, oh, like I was able to relax. Mm-hmm. It went in. And I remember crying because like, it was such an overwhelming feeling. Wow. Like, it felt so good that I was like, there were tears. Wow. So yeah, I was just very like, whoa. That's amazing. Yeah. And then I was like, get out of my life. <laughs> Don't so ever do that to me again. So you didn't like catch feelings afterwards as they say no. you do on the first time. No, I didn't. I just caught some plan B and <clears throat> went about my business. <laughs> okay. So then you're shooting with Mr. Well, actually Tyler. some some lucky, some, <laughs> some lucky, some lucky motherfucker <laughs> that shot POV. That's right. And you didn't tell him, but nope. obviously you'd had such a good experience with your first one. Yeah. Like you obviously weren't worried about it hurting or anything like that. No. And so how'd the scene go? It was great. I had practiced <laughs> with a toy. Of course you did. A couple days before. Of I was course like, you did because you were that thorough. I was like so scared. I would scared. expect nothing less. <laughs> I was like, what if it doesn't go in? Like, what if he goes to put it in and it doesn't fit? Like, I was so scared. So, yeah, I just, I practiced and then I went and did the scene. And I think that it went smoothly. Um, I didn't, there was a little pain after because I was like, this was porn sex we were yeah, having. So it went, lasted a long time. Yeah. I'd never douched before. Day. I didn't know what a fucking douche was. Did he tell you to? Yeah. Well, here's the thing with new girls, right? So they'll like bring you a douche. And I'm like, dude, I know that you're like used to having sex with girls that like are having sex. I'm not having a lot of sex. So whatever. But he gave me this douche and he's like, this is how it works. And like now looking back, I'm like, fuck you. Like, don't tell me how to clean out my coochie. I get that I was like 19, but at the same time, mm-hmm. you know. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, aside from that, it was fine. Yeah. And yeah. then how did you feel afterwards? Great. So did you feel like this was the right choice to oh, make? Yeah. You weren't doubting your decision? Not even a little. I was like, I want to get on a plane and go to LA and shoot more porn. Like, I was I was like, it's go time. Wow. Let's do this. What, yeah. what was the thing that you liked the most about it? I think it was just very... <clears throat> It's something that I had thought about for so long. It was like this fantasy in my brain that was never attainable. Mm -hmm. Like it was like, oh, well, I can think that all day long, but that's not going to happen. So for me, it was like I was fulfilling something that I had wanted to do. And I just got to do it. And it felt like very like, wow, empowering and fun and cool. 